Let me tell you a little bit about what we found in the study. We used data from the nationally representative 2003 to 2007 American time use data, and we showed that working moms were about twice as likely or more than twice as likely to get up for the night shift of caregiving uh, for dependent children in the household than working fathers were. And this was based on a very large sample of about 20,000 Americans in, in contemporary families here. What was interesting about this finding was that this was after taking account of differences between men and women in their age in how many hours a week that they're working for pay, in whether they had a partner or a spouse to help with the family load, and whether there were kids around or other people who might need care in the household. The way that we collected these data were to ask people to tell us everything they did for a single 24-hour period, and they were asked to provide when they started the activity and when they finished it. So based on the information in these diary days, people who had an infant in the household and were in dual career couples, so they, were, they had a partner and that both partners worked, showed very large differences by gender. And we found that about one in three of these mothers in dual income couples were getting up to provide care, compared to only about one in 10 of these fathers. Even among parents of infants who are the sole breadwinner in a couple, 28% of women reported getting up at night to take care of their child, compared to just 4% of men who were the only earner in the couple. Most people on the street that you would ask would tell you that's not surprising to me at all that women are more likely to get up than men. But what surprised us was that even among people that had the same sets of career ambitions and that were working long hours and so on, we were still seeing these big gender differences that we argue are part of social expectations. Taking on the lion's share of nighttime caregiving responsibilities, if it's solely women who are doing this, or for the most part women who are doing this, this is important for two main reasons. One is that sleep has been, in increasing numbers of studies in the medical literature and elsewhere, linked very strongly to health and well-being outcomes. It has also been strongly linked to accidents, either traffic accidents or accidents at work. The second reason why this is so important is because it could have very important ramifications for people's careers. And so if women are taking on the burden of this during the childbearing years, that could have unintended consequences for people's career trajectories. And as we know, most young people, most middle-aged people in the United States today, regardless of gender, are planning to have a serious uh, paid work career. So that's kind of an unmeasured motherhood penalty that we're finding in these data.